Alrighty everyone, welcome back to the last tutorial that I'm going to be making for this beautiful application. And in this one, we're going to be adding a custom font. However, before we get started, just want to mention one tiny update that I made from the last tutorial. And that was adding this button right here. So I realized we didn't have a way to clear this history. So all of this button does, whenever you click it, it just resets everything. Easy peasy. And again, I didn't want to record it because... Yeah, not really learning any new concepts. The only thing it does is just uh, reset your runs to the initial state, which is just an empty dict. So on that note, let me go ahead and close this. And now let's go ahead and figure out how to add a custom font. So in order to add a custom font, the first thing that we need is a font. So I'm gonna go to fonts.google.com and I already know the font that I want. It's the Ubuntu font right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and click in this and then what I'll do is down here, I'm just gonna select all of the uh, font files that I want. So I'm gonna be using this light one, basically all of these aside from the italics because we don't use italics anywhere in the app. So I'll select this regular two and let's see, medium and bold. All right, so now if I can view what I selected, light, regular, medium and bold, I'm just gonna go ahead and click download all. And that is gonna give me this zip file, which I can just extract right here, because as you can see, this directory with everything in here, and actually, I think I clicked uh, the wrong button there, but either way, I can just delete the italics right here because we don't need them. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is just take this entire file and I'll show you where I'm gonna stick it. So in speed test styles, I'm gonna create a new directory called fonts. And then I'm just gonna take this and drag it right here. All right, so now you see in styles fonts, and let me go ahead and right click that and just add to git. All right, so now styles fonts Ubuntu, we have all our fonts as well as the license right here. And as the next steps, what I'm gonna do is make another file right under styles, and this is just gonna be fonts.css. So this is where we're gonna be starting to define our custom font, and to do that, we can use the font face rule in CSS. And the first thing that you write is the font family. So the name of this is, of course, Ubuntu. And now remember, let me pop back open that browser. So each of these fonts, I have four files, this light, or excuse me, bold, light, medium, and regular, and each of those files correspond to a certain font weight. So light is 300, regular is 400, so on and so forth. So what I'm gonna do is basically have uh, four of these font face rules, and I just need to make that explicit correlation. So font weight of 300, what file does this relate to? And to define that, you write source. And for this URL, you pretty much just write the path to what was 300, this light one right here. So from that, it's fonts. And that is in Ubuntu. And let me just make sure I got this file type. So, and that is uh, related to the Ubuntu light font file right here. So now I can probably just copy this a couple times. And we had, uh, it was 400. Let me just make sure I got these right. So 400, 500, and 700, regular, medium, and bold. So 400, 500, and 700, regular, medium, and bold. All right, so again, this file is just defining a custom font for us. And to ensure that our app is able to use these, what we can do is in containers and in this top level container, the speed test one where our app window is, right under these styles, I'm just gonna paste this import right here, which is just importing this file. So again, this doesn't actually apply the styles themselves to the app, but then what we can do is we can have these fonts basically able to be applied in any of the components that we want. So that being said, what we could do right here is we could go into the styles file and start writing the 
Uh, let me see if I have, well, basically something like this. Uh, font family, and then we could write Ubuntu, just like that. However, the reason that I don't want to do this is because I'm gonna go ahead and create a font, pretty much the equivalent of like a font style guide. And that's gonna make sure that all of our fonts are standardized by using an object that only contains the properties that are allowed. And I know that's kind of confusing, but I'll show you what I'm talking about right now. So in this styles fonts, I'm gonna go ahead and just create a new TypeScript file and I'm gonna say index.ts. Now in here, I want to disable one of the ESLint rules that we have for sorting keys. And you'll see why in just a second. So this const is gonna be named fonts. And this is gonna be equal to an object with all the valid font properties that we allow, including the font family and font weight. So before I do anything else, let me just go ahead and make that my default export and check it out. So for this speed test apps font family, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say that there's one font family that we're gonna be using and we'll just name it default. And this is equal to Ubuntu, A-U-B-U-N-T-U. -U and just for a fallback, I'll just say sans serif. All right, so now in our component styles file, instead of typing this out explicitly every time, what we'll do is we'll say fonts.family.default and it'll give it the same behavior, but this way, whenever we do this, if we ever go and update this default font family for this app, we don't have to like update it in, in a million files. Uh, we just have to update it in this one location and it's automatically gonna be applied. So aside from the font family, I also wanna standardize my weights. And this is just to ensure that we're only using those proper weights because we only have the weights available of 300, 400, 500, and 700. So for this, let me see what those names were. I like to start with the most bold and kind of work my way down. So bold, medium, regular, light. So bold, and this is equal, wow, got a million people texting. Let me shut this off. So bold, medium, regular, light. The regular one is 500. The medium, this one was 400. And then the light one, this one was 300. And again, this is why I chose to disable the sort keys right here, because I like to have these sorted not alphabetically, which this would enforce, but instead just by the uh, weight value. So again, everywhere in our app, instead of typing these values explicitly, we're gonna be using one of these. It's just gonna keep everything a little bit more clean. However, before that, what I wanna do is hop into this styles index and I just wanna kind of like our standard process. I'll just say fonts. And I believe it was a default. Yep. Okay. So now we can just import these from this styles file and it just makes this import a little bit cleaner. So now with all of this, what we can do is probably don't need this anymore. All right, so speed test containers. Let's first go ahead and style our top level container. So in addition to the scroll style, also want to be importing those fonts. And this is font family. And this is going to be equal to fonts.family.default. All right. Now, since this font family is being applied to this top level container, basically the wrapper for everything else, then what should happen, and let me go ahead and probably have to restart my app. Oh, don't even have to restart it, that's pretty cool. So as you can see, this font did indeed change. I don't know if you can tell, but this is now Ubuntu font. Actually, let me go ahead and show you. That's where are you at? Yep, right here, we are now getting the uh, Ubuntu font family. So it is being applied to most all of these components, but I wanna show you a couple unique things. So first of all, whenever we have a button, even though this button is indeed inside the container, of course, then we don't have that styling. And uh, that's a unique thing. And that's because this user agent style sheet, which is just like the default electron uh, styling, for some reason on buttons, it resets it. And then another thing that I wanna point out is that whenever we have a modal, then we don't have the styling applied to these modals either. 
Now, the reason that it doesn't get applied to modals is because remember back in the modal tutorial, whenever we created that modal, and I'll show you right now, actually. So in this components modal, what we were doing is we were actually rendering it outside that entire DOM hierarchy, and we are rendering it in modal root. So even though we wrote the component and it kind of looks like in our source code, it appears inside this uh, structure right here it's actually kind of rendering like outside here in a way. So that said, we also need, clean these up, to explicitly apply these uh, font styles to those locations as well. So first of all, for those buttons, those were in containers, top styles, it is this button right here. So let me go ahead and copy my import apps. We don't need the scroll style. What we are looking for is just this font family applied to that button. And right here, actually, right here is where I want it. And then, of course, in our modal, same exact thing. So let me go ahead and copy this app speed test styles. Did I even make this app speed test? Okay. And then copy this fan font family for the modal. So the modal font family right here. And now we may have to restart the app. Oh, I guess not. So now we can see that our modal is now styled as well as our button looking good. So now that we have the font family applied, the only other thing that we need to do now is actually close all these. So in our speed test, what we're going to do is we're just going to search for font weight and then we're going to replace these with our standardized font weight. And I'll do one and then I'll pause the video and do the rest of them. So, all right, make sure we got that imported and I'll just make sure we got the right one. All right. So instead of explicitly saying, for example, right here, 500, we are going to do fonts dot weights dot regular. So fonts.weights.regular. And basically we can search for this, just font weight and replace each of these. So I'll pause the video real quick and uh, do it since it'd probably be pretty boring to watch me do this. And now you can see that each of those explicit fonts weights were replaced by one of these uh, valid properties, either bold, light, regular, or medium. So I'm now like, and go ahead and close that and check it out. All right, looking good. Now let me just make sure I didn't break anything. And all right, pretty sweet. And this exact pattern is, well, not the exact same thing, but uh, that same kind of styling system is how I like to style this color theming as well. So instead of typing out all those colors, uh, let's see if we have it anywhere. Like uh, right here, what I like to do is kind of follow that same pattern. And this is what I did for the uh, chat application. You see, we have a palette, some custom background colors, but really, uh, instead of like explicitly typing these, we do palette.blue. I don't know why I said we, it was, uh, I think I was the only one making this app so far, but uh, either way, uh, you can kind of see what we're doing for the color theme. Again, I'll probably do this on my own. I wanna swap out all these colors in the speed test app with a more standardized color theme, but I don't want to waste all your time if I'm not teaching you anything new. I kind of feel bad when I do that. But on that note, yeah, we now have two completed successful apps. Well, some issues right here with the chat app with the scroll. But I mean, TNBOS is looking, I gotta be honest, it, it's going a lot better than I expected. Even though, you know, I might be the only one to ever use these apps. I'm still having fun building that. I think this is a cool little architecture. So again, like I said, a couple cleanup items still for the speed test app, but I'll probably end the tutorial series here. If anyone else has any ideas for an application I could build, uh, let me know. I'll love to build it looking for new ideas, but otherwise, thank you all for watching and I'll see you next time.